Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to share with you an app that I personally love so much. Basically, it's an app, a uh, community-based one, free, available for MetaQuest. Here you can see me using it on the Quest 3 in Mixed Reality. It enables you to view uh, virtual 3D boxes of uh, retro games. You can hold it in your head, as you can see, of course, virtually. And you can position it uh, in your room, for example, and you can even save it. Because you need to scan your room first, it will remember the location. You can even load other people's rooms so you actually see the games that are actually their collection. You can even see information from the game. This is from uh, Moby Games. Uh, so if you click and choose info uh, with the trigger, once you select it, you can actually uh, even see videos, gameplay, if they exist for this particular game and just read reviews about the game and more information. Now I did the same, but I did it physically when I went to Japan for uh, several months, it's like six months I was there and one of my favorite things to do is get to, uh, for example, Super Potato and other retro gaming store and just try to discover games that I used to play when I was a child. Of course, we can't compare the amount of games there, for example, like in Super Potato Store here in Osaka in Japan, uh, compared to what we have in the app. But in time, we might get there. Uh, so the thing is that um, you can enlarge the, the 3D uh, box model and there are, because it uses high resolution scans, you can really see the details when you enlarge it with your hands, you can enlarge the box. So you can see here, this is from the stores, I just enjoy just searching for games that I used to play. And just, you know, it's kind of a, you know, it's a museum, you know, basically you can live the, the past in video game history and learn more about it and discover even games that you may, might enjoy playing if you buy one of the consoles that actually support these games. Actually, when I was in Japan, I discovered that they don't see as a Commodore 64 as a console, as a gaming console. I was kind of shocked. Uh, nonetheless, you can see me again getting closer. But one of the great things, look at that, how much RAM, EGA, uh, VGA, uh, some of the games support e CGA only. And you can see Drive A, for example, all these things uh, from the past. Yeah, I'm from the DOS days, old. But I mean, I remember that, this A, disk B, Using CGA, I remember the first moment I went to playing EGA, VGA was a huge transformation. But again, it kind of reminds me, kind of a trigger things in my memory that I already forgot. All these, you know, seeing, for example, Voodoo graphics card, chipset, I mean, things like that, that, oh my God, I just forgot totally. It just reminds me that again. So I recommend actually checking the boxes and look carefully, especially if you're born you know, in the 80s, uh, you know, you're gonna appreciate this nostalgia that you get while examining all of these boxes. Pretty amazing. Now, of course, the amount of games right now are limited. Uh, and again, not all of them are from, you know, from the US. Many of them are actually from uh, uh, Japan. You can see it because of the, uh, of the, uh, the descriptions. But again, many of them are. Here you can see our PCXT80. Requires CGA, optional EGA, full core CGA. Oh my God, this is just insane. I was about to cry, really. I'm so nostalgic about it, seriously. Yeah, I did search for some games that I enjoy playing and uh, I, I didn't find them because again, the, the, the amount of pretty limited, some of the popular is there. I don't know why they say so Overwatch though, I have no idea. Anyway, hopefully more would be added soon. But it's pretty fast to browse forward. Uh, and getting all the information by just pointing and asking for information and being able to, by the way, they're also going to add features to add virtual furniture as well to the app. So you can kind of create it. And then when you load your room, you can see it in the same place, everything ordered, something amazing. Now the app is free, so it has a huge potential to actually become a, a lodger with, I mean, this is great as I told you for, co for collectors, for, uh, you know, avid gamers, for those who want to dive into the history of video games. Those who are just interested really in the art of you know gaming and boxes and uh, those who kind of want to create a little collection of their favorite games, uh, they can do it physically. Or you can even go physically in terms of accessibility is also good. You can do it from the comfort of your home. This is fantastic uh, app, absolutely fantastic. I just love it. And I'm sure many of you will appreciate it as well. Thanks for watching. Discover it again. It's available on the Oculus Store. Uh, Game Box Museum, make sure to download, have fun, thanks for watching.